Say, why does Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala say, when I'm doing wudu, I cannot go upwards? What's the reason behind this? Why does my sajda have to be done in this way? Why do I have jilsatul istiraha between the two sajdas, for example? Why, 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 why? The details of these acts of worship of ours, there's thousands of questions that you can come up with regards to them. Do we know the answer to all of these or most of these even? No, we don't. And parents usually get very hesitant when I say this. Because they say, Shaykh, I hope you're going somewhere with this. You're trying to say there's no reason behind any of this? No, we're saying there are reasons. We're saying we don't know the reasons behind them. And Islam is completely open about this issue. Islam doesn't shy away from this issue. There are thousands of detailed rulings within Islam. We don't know the reason behind them. 